Let's go on to our first story this afternoon. Welcome to the Business News here on Midday Live. My name is Alfred Kansen. Our research conducted by the Ministry of Finance on post-harvest losses and aging farmers has revealed uh, there's no proper policy to entice the youth into agriculture. Now, the report also indicated Ghana's agricultural sector is set to be on the decline due to the high number of aging farmers in the country. Agriculture contributes about 20% to the national GDP. In 2014, the sector contributed about $2,639,000,000 to the GDP. Despite the significant contributions, policies in the sector have not been streamlined to attract the youth. The dominance of the aged in the sector therefore is affecting productivity. A research finding by the Finance Ministry showed there is compelling evidence of an aging farmer population which needs to be critically addressed. Their findings point to the fact that government has to come out with stronger policies, assurances. If government is, supposed, is able to come out with strong enabling policies, then the youth will also be comfortable to come into agriculture as a business which is profitable. Efforts in tackling the growth disinterest by the youth in agriculture is also said to be fragmented. Deputy Finance Minister Monakwati advocated for a well-timed policy and sustained investment to fight youth apathy towards agriculture. At this point, government will not only support with policies and laws, but there will also be some serious real investments to make sure that we assure the youth to come into farming. At a dissemination workshop to deliberate on the two research findings, their inventory of post-harvest infrastructure and aging farmers, speakers called for collaborative efforts in reviving the agriculture sector to attract the youth.